the blade files. Okay, so didn't really capture too well how I set this up, but these are obviously all the polypropylene webbing or um, strapping for the vest. What I've done is I've taped it off and left a section open, but what I'm trialing here is I've just done a straight line with the fabric paint to see how that's going to turn out. So we'll paint it up, see how it turns out. If it doesn't work, we'll just flip it around and paint the other side. Okay? All right, so this is what it looks like painted up. Obviously, the, the fabric paint that I just sort of applied on, like the line of it, sort of isn't too straight. Like, it's a bit wiggly, but we'll see how it goes, because, like, what I had done is I'd brushed on two coats of fabric paint before I decided, let's just put a line down the middle of it anyway, so chances are we're going to have to flip it to the other side to do it properly, regardless of... It which way it goes so we'll see how it goes anyway when we take it out all right so this is how it looks once it goes into focus focus all right so that's how it came out that's at least yeah, auto focus. that's at least a good third of the thickness that I had on that vest up there so this should this should work um, what you probably can't see too well Oh, you can a little bit there is the the previous sort of two coats that I did with the fabric paint so they were just lightly brushed on it was just so the actual red had something to grab onto and you know be nice and bright so we'll rip the rest of this tape off and we still got two more of those ones to do for the other two buckles those are the shoulder straps and that's all the webbing along the back of the vest so yeah nearly there all right so um pretty much last video for this particular segment um, so all the webbing's now done I did the other two pieces probably what I should have documented was how I drew it up so basically all I did was measure the width of the strapping drew out some lines on the cardboard and then laid those over the line so for the, for the strip down the middle all I did was mark up the center of the gap and then put one mil either side of it so it was like a, a two mil gap basically before i ended up doing just the thin line with the with the fabric paint i'll show you what the fabric paint actually was if i can find it so that's that's the fabric paint i used and it's it's got a top like this which is how i did the line hang on i'm just gonna unscrew it so, yeah, obviously a little top like that makes it quite easy to do a nice thin line like that. And I'll show you the difference between the old vest and the thickness of that red strip, which was nice and stand out, but obviously not too, yeah. I mean, it's probably not a great representation there, but it is seriously way less than half the size of it. So, and it's a little bit brighter, as you can sort of see there. So, yeah, so that's that done. Um, those I can put away for now until I make the rest of that which is all over there sitting on that chair a little bit over there yeah, boom